Hi, my name is Melis, I'm a beauty therapist and today I'm going to show you how to do a professional gel polish manicure at home. The first thing that I recommend you do is put some tissue on your table. Once you've got your tissue, you can start filing your nails. I recommend using a 250 grit nail file. It's a lot softer and smoother, more gentle on the nails. The shape that you do is completely personal preference. I personally like to do it square with rounded edges, also known as squoval. After you've done both hands, you need to get a cuticle pusher. It doesn't have to be a double-ended one like this, but I do like using both ends. So this rounded spoon side here um, and the other side is really good at really getting in there and being more precise. So you want to gently push the cuticles down. I prefer this side more than the spoon side because as you can see when I'm doing my thumbs it doesn't work that well. Something like this is universal. It's quite sharp so you need to be careful but you can really scrape off any excess cuticle and follow the natural shape and it looks really nice and neat. Now the reason I do this dry is because I find that the gel polish lasts longer. If you find it easier you can soak your nails um, in hot water but don't leave it in there for too long because if it soaks, if your nails soak up too much water it does expand a little bit and then when you do the gel polish on top eventually when the when your nails go shrink back to normal it can again it, it doesn't last as long it chips. That's why I prefer doing it dry. But as I said, you're more than welcome to put your hands into hot water, but don't keep it in there for too long. Keep it in there for about a minute. It does feel very strange trying to do things on the opposite hand, but it takes practice. The more you do it, it will just become, it'll become more easy. Once you've pushed all your cuticles back, you then need a cuticle nipper. You need to be extra careful with this so you don't cut yourself and just work on cutting any excess that's sticking out. Try to keep the cuticle nipper flat rather than at an angle like this because if you keep it at an angle that's when you will cut yourself too deep. Now you can put your hand towards the edge of the table and maybe do it this way as well. It might be easier for you. And of course I should have put the tissue there before I did that. Now you need a nail buffer block. This one is 100 grit. Um, I've used it a few times so it has sort of softened up a bit. Um, you need to buff the surface of the, your nail just to get rid of any of the shine. And the reason you need to do this is so that the gel polish can stick. If your nails are shiny, of course it's not going to stick. So you create, you just prep them for the gel polish to stick. Also when I'm buffing them, I also like to buff the uh, free edge, the ends of the nails. And that's because when you file your nails, if you notice, if you go like pick underneath, you'll see that there's still bits of nails uh, that's attached. So by buffing the end, you get rid of any of the bits that are still attached. Now, another piece of advice I'm going to give you is to really make sure that you buff every part of that nail and make sure that you do this thoroughly. It's the prep work that's going to make your gel polish manicure last longer. If you don't do this properly, your gel polish might chip. Now at this point, your nails are going to look so dry, but if you look closely, it does look a lot better. And then once you moisturize at the end, it's going to all come together. The next thing you need is some rubbing alcohol. Now this one is 70%, but um, 
I recommend that you get higher than this because it will clean the nail more thoroughly um, and it will make your manicure last even longer because it's cleaning it properly. I bought this ages ago and I've only got a little bit left so I'm just trying to use it up. If you, for whatever reason, cannot find rubbing alcohol online, if it's all sold out, you can just buy a nail cleanser. Any nail brand will do. This one is by Essie but you don't have to get this one. The main ingredient in nail cleansers is this. That's why I recommend that you get this because it's cheaper but yeah for whatever reason if you can't find um, rubbing alcohol then just go and buy a nail cleanser. So put some rubbing alcohol onto some cotton wool. This is lint-free wipes. You don't have to get lint-free wipe but I um I personally prefer it because I don't like dealing with any fluff when I'm painting nails. Really give it a good wipe. You don't want any sort of powder from your nails on the surface of the nail. In fact, sometimes I go over it with another clean wipe. Up to this point, you've done both hands at the same time. From this point onwards, you need to do one hand at a time. So you need to do all of the steps on one hand, finish it, and then repeat on this one. Now before we start painting, I want you to get any sort of little pot, put some of the rubbing alcohol in here, and get a small brush ready. Now this is for if you ever go, when you're painting your nails, if you ever by accident go into the side walls, you can simply dip the brush into the pot and clean up the sides. Another thing I want to talk about before painting is the lamp. Now of course I am a beauty therapist, so I went out and got the OPI one, but of course you don't need to go out and buy a fancy ass 300 pound LED lamp. I recommend any LED lamp, I don't recommend UV, LED lamp um, with a minimum of 36 watts. So if it's above 36, that's even better. 40 watt for example, really good. The gel polish brand that I'm gonna use today is by OPI. With OPI you need Bond Aid, base coat, top coat, and the color. The colour that I am feeling in the mood for today is called Bubble Bath. It's the most natural colour. Um, a bit boring, but it's just what I feel like having today. I recommend high quality brands, OPI, Gelish, CND Shellac. That is what I personally recommend, but of course if you're someone who doesn't do their nails that often and you just want to do it because you have no other choice to do it at home, I'm going to give you an alternative that's cheaper, a brand called Cuccio. With this brand I recommend that you get the treatment pack, it comes with um, numbered products so it makes it easier for you. So there's number one which is basically Bond Aid version of Cuccio, number one. There's number two which is called Fuse. This makes your manicure last a lot longer. There's number three, which is the base coat. And number five, which is the top coat. Of course, they didn't name this number four because number four would be the color. If you search on Amazon, you'll see that you can get this treatment pack for around 30 pounds. And you can get a nail color, which is around eight pounds, which is incredibly cheap. You can also get the nail color with the matching normal polish in a duo pack which comes to around £10, that makes each polish £5, which is again incredibly cheap. So that is an alternative, I love both brands, but today I feel like using OPI, so that's what I'm going to do. Now before I start painting, I'm just going to fold this tissue over because it's got bits of cuticle on it and fluff from where I've filed my nails. You can use a bigger tissue of course if you want. Um, so get the Bond Aid and you want to dip it in. For each nail and just apply all over. Now don't repeat it on this hand yet, you can do that when you start painting the other hand. You want to do one hand all at the same, you know, all the steps. Next I'm going to go in with my base coat and then simply start painting the base coat on your nails. Now you want to make sure that this base coat is going on every part of your nail. And you also want to pull your skin back and you want to cap the free edge. Now this is where you can use this brush. So you dip it in, wipe the excess on the tissue and just make sure that there is no base coat that's gone on to your skin because if it has and it dries on your skin um, it will lift the gel polish 
and it's not meant to go on your skin. These products are designed for your nail. Next, you wanna put it in your lamp. Do follow the instructions of the brand that you got, but yeah, the OPI in an LED lamp, it dries in 30 seconds. So I'm putting it in there for 30 seconds. Make sure that you don't leave any of like your brushes or your open bottles out in front of the LED light because it will affect the polish and it might dry it as well. Another thing I forgot to mention, you should be shaking these bottles to mix the product for about a minute. Dealing with any sort of polish, you should be taking off all of the polish off the brush and then picking up however much you need from the side. I'm gonna do my first coat of the color. And again, capping the free edge, making sure it's all smooth. I find it easier doing this while my fingers are on the edge of the table. If you're slow at painting your nails, I don't recommend that you leave these out for too long. Um, so you can sort of do one nail, cure it, or do two nails at a time. Um, but yeah, don't leave the nails out for too long because it can move about and go into the side walls in your skin. When you do cap the free edge, make sure that you smooth over the nail one more, one last time so that you don't get excess product on the tip. Once you've finished painting, I normally do it once I've painted all of the nails. That's when I go in with my brush and make sure. And I also go in with my nail just to make sure that there are no product on the skin. Once you've done the first coat, you're gonna put it into your lamp again for 30 seconds. Once the first coat is cured, you're gonna go in with your second coat. When you're going into the sides, really pull your skin back. Now when you're first applying the polish, I normally apply it in the middle and towards the tip of the nail because you don't want to bring a lot of product to the cuticles because you can flood them easily. So it's always best to first apply the colour in the middle. When you're coming to the edges you can always tilt your brush around so that it's easier for you to curve around that edge. So again, I'm going to make sure that there's no product on my skin. Now that my second coat is applied, I'm going to put it into the lamp for 30 seconds. And then it's just the top coat left and that hand is done. So now I'm going to do the top coat. This is going to seal everything in together and it's going to make your nails really shiny. Because the top coat and the base coat is clear, there are times where you might not see it, so it is good to go over any areas where you can sort of feel like it is a little bit shiny, where you've got product on your skin. I'm going to put that into the lamp for 30 seconds. Now this is dry, but it's got a tacky layer that's left. So what you need to do is you need to grab cotton wool again, um, put some of the rubbing alcohol on and then clean off that tacky layer. Now you want to repeat those steps on the other hand. So I repeated those exact steps on the other hand off camera. Now what I want you to do is to feel all of the edges of your nail and if you feel anything that's really sharp, I want you to grab your nail file and very gently file off 
any sharp edges but very gently just to get rid of that sharp bit that's sticking out because if it gets caught somewhere then your gel polish might chip. Then you need a cuticle oil, I'm using the one by Cuccio. Lap the cuticle oil on the cuticle area. And then massage it into the skin around the nails. This is to hydrate the skin around the nails because you've been, you know, buffing it and putting, rubbing alcohol on it, it's probably dried out your skin. So it's important to put some hydration back into the skin around the nails. If you apply cuticle oil every night, it will also keep the gel polish flexible because if the gel polish gets very, very dry, it can again chip and crack. Um, so the cuticle oil keeps it nice and flexible. Um, and cuticle oil is really good for your nails. If you find that your nails are very weak, if you massage this into your skin again as often as you can, but I recommend that you do it before bed, you will notice that your nails are gonna improve. The final step is to put on some hand cream. This is my personal favorite. It's the OPI Avo Juice Moisturizers. This is in the scent Mango. It's a very light moisturizer and it sinks very quickly into the skin and you don't have that sort of very thick, sticky, oily feeling. It's just, it feels really nice and hydrated. And that is the finished result. Even though this is the most simple color you can ever get done, I get a lot of compliments on it because it just makes my hands look really tidy and clean and crisp. It's definitely one of my top favourites. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want and I'll see you next time. Bye.